Yo, hey, good humans, welcome to the ride. Or should I say, welcome to the adulting experience. Now, before you ask, Al, why are you wearing the old jersey? Yeah, it's not a relic yet, but it brings back some really good memories. And you know, we used to get down with this thing. This was my very first bike, official bike jersey. So, I felt like I wanted to be a badass. And you know the stuff we used to do on the Flexor and the matching red and black. Wearing red and black felt like power couple. What? Somebody's alarm is going off over there. But anyway, wearing red and black always felt like power colors. So I figured since I have to be a responsible adult today, I would wear some power colors. Even the matching gloves. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Black and red have always been my favorite colors to wear as bike apparel. So you guys know my black, red, yellow, and green jerseys, my one love jerseys are special to me. So anyway, so today has been all about adulting, literally. I got the truck clean, we got everything situated. I, I'm leaving Walmart now because I had to go do some shopping for the month, got all the shopping done. I'm about to go make a CVS run to pick up my meds and then after that, I'm gonna stop by home, put everything up, and then hopefully we'll have time to go actually ride the bike. Cause that's been my mission today. But of course, oh, and I gotta go wash jerseys. You see the basket back there? So I gotta go wash bike stuff. So today has been about being a responsible adult. Somebody gotta do it. Look, these people over here looking at me like I'm crazy. They're over trying to figure out who I'm talking to. So, oh no, wait, I think that's an older lady. My bad. <laughs> So I am gonna make my way back down to the house, unload the truck, and be a responsible adult yet again. <laughs> Come on, let's go. humans let me catch you up on what's been happening a lot has been happening so I had to take diamond in again to get an adjustment and it turns out my cassette was messed up so we got that taken care of and uh, we got a brake job done and then just when you thought you know the good news was over with I learned about some things about this bike that I'm on, and uh, well, let's just say she is starting to become a little pricey, and I don't even think I did this much work with the Flexor. But nonetheless, we're back on it and we're rolling. And then, you know, today just turned out to be such an awesome day. I wanted to take you guys to this candy store that I had found, and it's in Aiken because I was passing through there one afternoon before treatment and uh, let's just say this candy store is definitely worth your attention. It's got original everything. And I had recorded a little bit and I put that on the Facebook blog. But since I hadn't get a chance to go up that way, I'll show you guys you know, what my experience was like when I got the visit from the first time. And see, the first time I went, it was absolutely insane. They had every kind of candy you can imagine. So, I gotta say, it was fun. Check this out. You never know what you're gonna find when you stop in some of the smaller towns, right? So, how long has it freaking been since you've seen crybabies? Non-existent at home. Like every kind of freaking candy you could possibly make yourself sick to the core, they have it in here. Like this is nuts. Now, 
this is the kind of stuff you don't see. They, they, they haven't made this stuff since my grandmother was like a little girl. So this was just me passing by. Here, let me give you the front view so you can see the actual case. Check it out. The Smarties would probably make the trip even more worthwhile. But down here, I haven't seen those since I was like five. Whistle candy used to get on my mom's nerves so bad. Okay, but that's not the best part. All the jelly beans, all right? All the, all the flavored jelly beans. You see them, right? Check it out. All the flavored jelly beans. Everything you can imagine, right? Everything you can imagine. But you ain't right unless you get in the sour mix. <laughs> okay, they even got ice cream. Now, for all intents and purposes, I can't have ice cream. For any one of you wise but people say, oh, you're a dialysis patient, you can't have ice cream. I know, I'm just looking. But look though, isn't it cool? Like this place, is, this is the whole setup. So, and I'm sorry if my, I'm recording this one on my phone, so it's a little shaky because the phone is hot. But yeah, this is, oh wait, the cry baby, cry baby, look, look at the, the cry baby thing is real. So, how often is it that you just pass by riding on your bike and you can get you an old glass Coke? Like, tw like, tw it, the, the twisty thing is frigging awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go back to being a responsible adult and getting back to the bike. I'll see you guys in a minute. Well, good humans, welcome back to the ride. I know, I know what you're thinking, and it is exactly what you're thinking. It started raining, the sky opened up, it got extra dreary, and unfortunately, my ride got interrupted. But that's all good, though. I had to come back to the truck, but now I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do now. So, getting back to where we left off at, I would like to visit some more candy stores like that. Like, classic themed places that you know aren't around anymore like you know like miss cindy's candy store that is a commodity in my world like I, it just it brought back so many good memories from being a kid and those of you who grew up down here and know anything about augusta mall knew that they had two candy stores in that mall and i'll take it even back further when i was like maybe seven or eight years old there were two malls here one regency mall and the other obviously Augusta Mall they both had candy stores that had the classics you get whatever the heck you want to get and then you weigh it you probably wouldn't spend no more than three or four bucks and that is a thing that just I, I miss I enjoy it. it was an incredible experience honestly so I would like to get back to that one of these days and another thing you know I want to visit some other spots and explore like you know like I had never just ridden my bike downtown Aiken before. So, we definitely gotta do that. I definitely would like to get into seeing some, some better places that have a culture, you know. Augusta's fun, don't get me wrong. I love being in Augusta, but I'm a mountain biker that likes to go explore, and I'm well-traveled. Those of you who know anything about me, you know, being a military brat, I have been damn near in every four, all four corners of the world. And to find something as simple as a candy store, ah, motivale, ah, something about it. So, uh, with the sky looking like it's looking, I oh, don't know. I guess we're gonna have to play this one by ear, huh? Hmm.
All right, good humans. Later. <sighs> well, we've had an interesting day, haven't we? I know, I know, I know. This is starting to become a routine, but you know, I like taking you guys with me to dialysis. It's kind of my thing. It works for me. You know what? I always do that. I always get in here and forget to turn my light. Look at, at least leave my light on so I can do my thing. All right. So we had a pretty, pretty, pretty rough treatment. I gotta say, ew, ew, I, I've gotten, I've taken the most fluid off of me tonight than I've ever taken in the little bit of the time I do do dialysis, and uh, it was. A cold one, like they had it freezing in there. Like I'm, whew, I'm so ready to warm up. But like here, let me cut the heat on now. Yeah, so I think we had a pretty good day. I think today was resourceful. I did manage to get like three some odd miles in before it started raining on me. And regardless of the fact, I got on the bike, and then ultimately we didn't get a chance to finish. But it's all good though. The adventure didn't stop. I got to show you guys some highlights that I didn't get to show, you know, from uh, my adventures from the past couple of weeks or so. And that's another thing. If you guys want to see more from me, follow me on Instagram, Al Too Smooth on Instagram.com. Here, look, Al Too Smooth, Instagram. And I post content there on Instagram that I don't post on here or, you know, people get to see things on Instagram that you don't get to see here per se or let's just say if you're not friends with me on Facebook Instagram is another way you can follow me and keep up with my everyday adventures because you know it's not all the time I'm taping so anyway on that note guys I think we had a pretty productive day and I'm gonna get on off of here I don't want to hold you guys up because I'm ready to go home get into bed and uh, start tomorrow's adventure so I am going to get on out of here, but before I do, I wanted to tell you, like I always tell you, disability is not an ability, right? And all you got to do is try, and I think we successfully tried despite a failure in the bike riding area. It's cool, though. We're going to get back to it tomorrow and do what we do. So, on that note, guys, I am out of here. I'm tired. Time to go get to bed, get some rest, so we can do it all over again tomorrow. I love you guys. Thanks for riding with me. Stay safe, take care of each other, wash your hands, all your sterile stuff, all that good stuff, and I will see you for tomorrow's adventure. Right. Later, guys.